Hello students, welcome back. So now let us start with a very interesting chapter, a special prize. What a naughty boy, he deserved to be thrashed. Sent for him, Mohan, hey Mohan, the headmaster shouted for the chokidar. Mohan guessed for the voice that the headmaster was angry. He rushed in and asked worryingly, yes sir. So what is happening in the starting of the chapter students, there is a boy Mohan and his headmaster and the headmaster is saying that this boy is very naughty and we should beat him to repent him. Hurry and get Tapan of class 5th, the headmaster ordered. Let me introduce the reader of this boy Tapan. He is the second son of Ratan, clerk of Padumani village. Although thin, he is strong. So now the narrator is describing the character of this boy whose name is Tapan. Narrator is saying that Tapan is very lean but he is very strong. He is quite good at his studies. But both at the home and outside, he is always getting into trouble. It must be admitted that he is never the first to pick up a quarrel. But if anyone provokes him, provokes means agar kisi ne bhi tapan ko bhadkaya, to he gives as good as he gets. Matlab tapan apne aap kabhi bhi ladai shuru nahi karta, start nahi karta, par agar usne अगर किसी और ने उसको भड़काया तो तपन क्या करता है फिर बाद में ही इज द लीडर इन हिज एज सो वो गुंडा बन जाता है फिर बाद में ही इज द लीडर ऑफ हिज एज ग्रुप एंड इज ऑलवेज रेडी टू टेक अप अ कागज ऑन हिज ऑन देयर बिहाफ ही इज पॉपुलर एंड रिस्पेक्टेड बाय हिज कंपेनियंस ही हैड गॉन टू अनदर स्कूल अर्लियर बट नाउ ही इज स्टडिंग एट जनपीट हाई स्कूल a mile and a half from his village. So, Tapan was in another school and now he changed his school and now he is studying at Janpeet High School which is only a half a kilometer from his village, only a half a kilometer from his village. He had only been at Janpeet for a short time and already there was a complaint against him. Harin, the shopkeeper, of Padumani village had complained to the headmaster that Tapan and a number of other boys had thrown stones at his shop the previous evening. Tapan had been the ring leader. So, what happened in Tapan and his friends had met with the shopkeeper in the shop. What happened? He had to kill him and kill him. Tapan came with the chokidar and after glancing timely at the headmaster stood with his head lowered, swinging his cane. The headmaster demanded, you are Tapan, aren't you? So, now headmaster asks Tapan, when Tapan comes to his office, do you want to be Tapan? Yes sir, Tapan replied. Do you know this gentleman? The headmaster asked, pointing to the shopkeeper. Yes sir, he lives in our village. Well, is it true that the last evening you and your friends threw stones at his shop? So now the headmaster is asking Tapan that is it true that you and your friends threw the stones at the shopkeeper's shop? Tell me that. Yes, sir. It is true that I threw stones at his shop with Ratan and other. Why did you do that? You rascal. Answer me, the headmaster thundered. Sir, this man is a cheat. He charged high prices and give less. Moreover, he has introduced a new kind of paper bag which is padded at the bottom. The day before yesterday, we bought a kilo of dal from him. When we weighed the content at home, it turned out to be only 800 grams. It is well known in the village. When I asked him, about it yesterday, he abused me and chased me out of his shop. That is why the other boys and I threw stones at his shop. So now Tapan is giving his arguments that why did he threw stones at this shop of this shopkeeper. Or Tapan says that this man, 
इज अ चीटर क्यों क्योंकि कल मैंने कुछ सामान खरीदा था आई बॉट किलोज ऑफ दाल फ्रॉम हिम और हमने घर जाकर जब देखा तो सिर्फ 800 हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ही थी वो एक किलो भी नहीं थी सो दिस मैन इज अ चीट एंड दैट्स वाई आई थ्रू एंड माई बॉयज माई अदर फ्रेंड्स थ्रू स्टोन एट हिज शॉप द हेड मास्टर थॉट फॉर सम टाइम देन टर्न टू तपन ही सेड इवन सो वॉट यू डिड वॉज नॉट राइट मतलब अगर ये सब कुछ सच भी है और अगर शॉपकीपर बहुत ही फ्रॉड इंसान है तभी भी तुम्हें ऐसा कुछ नहीं करना चाहिए था तपन इफ द शॉपकीपर इज डिसऑनेस्ट इट इज फॉर द गवर्नमेंट और द विलेज पंचायत टू टेक अप द मैटर इट इज नन ऑफ योर बिजनेस मतलब हेड मास्टर ने कहा कि तपन ये तुम्हारा मामला नहीं है अगर वो डिसऑनेस्ट भी था अगर उसने कुछ फ्रॉड भी किया था सो इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट और द विलेज पंचायत वेन ही रिटर्न टू हिस्स क्लास His classmate looked at him sideways and sniggered. There was another incident a few days later. It concerns a fierce ox which was troubling the locality. It had got several people. If anyone approached it with a stick, it would charge at them. Everyone was terrified of it. The effrontery of the animal aroused Tapan's spirit. During the school break, he bought a stave and a piece of string and slowly approached the ox. Waiting for the right moment, he jumped on its back and put the string in its mouth and if bridling a horse. The ox was taken by the surprise. But the moment it felt the weight on its back, it started swamping and buckling. Meanwhile, the school break was over and the class had resumed. But Tapan was busy taming the ox. So what happened here, students? ये गांव में एक सांड था, एक ox थी, और Tapan ने उसे मजा चखाने का सोचा क्यों? क्योंकि वो ox सबको मारती फिरती थी. तो Tapan ने क्या किया? He took a stick and he put that stick just like he was riding a horse and he went on the ox and what happened next ki ox ko pata chal gaya ki uski peet par koi baitha hua hai aur wo dur dur bhagne lag gayi buckling branzo holding the stick firmly crashed into the school compound and then into the room of class 7th the teacher and the students were frightened and scattered in all the directions and showing and pushing their way out of the classroom in the rush many of them stumbled and fell so now what is happening students the the ox is running hatar and shatar and everywhere because stapan is has sat on the back of this ox and ox is not liking it and the ox wants to throw tapan away and so he is he is running here and there in the rush many of them stumbled and fell the teacher rajni shaharia managed to escape unhurt by running outside several glass panes were broken by the horns of the wildly prancing animal finally the dazed ox ran beloved desperately into the field and then ran far away from the school without a backward glance so what happened here students that after tapan sat on his back the ox ran here and there and after tapan controlled him and made him escape into the fields and the ox ran so there was another complaint lodged against tapan this time by the teacher rajni shaharia the headmaster flew into a rage not only the students but also the school building had suffered the headmaster called tapan again tapan appeared so now the headmaster called tapan and the tapan had to appear because the ox went inside the school apartment breaking and hurting some of the students and even the teacher on seeing him the headmaster tempered boiled over you are a wicked boy why did you lead the ox into the classroom speak up the headmaster demanded waving his cane so the headmaster had a cane and now he is demanding that speak 
that why did you lead the ox into the classroom and it hurted hurted many people why did you do that tapan replied head lowered which means tapan was very guilty so he lowered his head students and he replied sir i didn't lead the ox in to the classroom i was only riding on its back to tame him what do we mean by tame here students to control the ox and suddenly it ran into the room so tapan is giving his arguments that i wasn't the one who took the ox inside the classroom but i was trying to control that ox but it went inside the classroom so it is not my mistake tapan received 15 strokes of, of the headmaster's cane his classmates again sneered and ridiculed him he was branded the bad boy of the school soon after a notice was circulated in the school tapan was fined rupees 25 for the damage he was also told that he would be expelled from the school if he committed any such offense in the future a few boys who came out of their class made faces at tapan so tapan was fined and this was the last warning given to tapan that if tapan did anything after this he is going to be expelled from the school the same evening the headmaster had returned home had his tea and was going for a walk dusk was falling and he saw the school's bad boy tapan holding an old beggar women's hand and on his head carrying her bundle walking alongside jeering at him were two boys of his class narain narain the one who came first and mahesh the old woman had fever she had developed it during her begging round she could hardly walk leave alone carrying her burden so now the headmaster came from the school and he was sitting in his room and he saw tapan carrying a bag of a old beggar woman and the women had a high fever and near them were two boys narain and mahesh who didn't help this women but tapan actually went up to the women and picked up her weight on seeing the plight of the old women tapan had lifted her burden on his head and taking the old women's hand said granny hold on to me i'll take you home when narain and mahesh saw the headmaster they saluted him and looked at tapan with derision so this brings us to the end of the chapter students i hope you all enjoyed and learned a lot from the story of tapan thank you